Hi, my name is Coach Martin Gooden. Today I'm going to share some information with you, but the first thing I must let you know is that it's impossible to put my point across in a two minute video. Right, today's video is this, what I sometimes get asked. Is HIT training the best form of training to do when I'm looking at fat loss? Okay, or is steady state cardio the best way of training when I'm looking at fat loss? weight loss right so the question what I will say and this is the question what I need to ask you there is no right and there is no wrong it's impossible for me to answer but I will tell you this a few things what you need to know if you're very deconditioned and not accustomed to getting your heart rate very high in a quick period of time and then while you're recovering your heart rate comes down okay if you're very out of condition and you're not used to training this way, your heart rate is going to be elevated and it's going to take a long time to come back down. So bearing in mind, if you're working at periods, say for one minute, really high intensity, okay, and then say one minute recovery or two minutes recovery, the chances are if you're out of condition, you're very out of condition, you're going to struggle when it comes for your heart rate to come down. Remember the heart is a muscle. The stronger and the more used it is, okay, the more it will take to come down and recover in between rest periods. Okay? So, the question I would ask you, if you're out of condition, and I was training you and I asked you to do an interval very hard, get your heart rate really high, probably up to 85, 90% of the maximum heart rate, then I ask you to dip down in a one minute or two minute recovery, the chances are, probably after one interval, two interval, three intervals, okay, you're gonna be busting your gut. You're gonna be blowing your exhaust. Won't be able to do no more, okay? Won't be able to do no more. Now then, if I've got a person who's very conditioned, very fit, okay, very conditioned in the sense of, trains very regular, got a strong heart muscle, the chances are when I ask them to do this or her to do an interval, their heart rate, when I ask them to recover in one minute, they will come down very quickly. If I ask them again to go back up, okay, for one minute, again, ask them to come back down again for one minute, ask them to go back up again, they will be able to sustain and maintain and do this consistently, okay? Which means I can ask them to do 12 minutes of interval training. I can ask them to do six minutes of high intensity in interval training. Okay, I can ask them to do 20 minutes of it. Okay, because I know that they will be able to recover in between the rest periods. Now that is the thing. Okay, now then, if I ask somebody who's very overweight, not accustomed to exercise, to do steady state cardio or slow fat burning fuel cardio, chances are they will be able to sustain it, okay? They will be able to sustain it. Then at some point, okay, when they get fitter, drop the weight, okay, get more confidence in their training, okay, then the chances are what I will then do is probably introduce small intervals in between, okay? Now then, I see too many personal trainers just introducing people who are not accustomed to interval training, straight into interval training and making them bust the balls and making them bust the gasket, i.e. they cannot do it. Okay, and you know if you can't do something, sometimes it knocks on your confidence. A lot of these people don't even like exercising in the first place. Okay, so we're not trying to build, not their confidence, we need to build their confidence. So that is the question what I've answered. That is the question what I've answered. By all means necessary, course HIT training works. No doubt about it. And it's backed by scientific research. EPOC, okay? It's one of the things why it works, the afterburn, okay? But also at the same time, steady state, um, slow fuel burning cardio actually works too. All right? So there is no right and there is no wrong. As I said, who I make use that protocol with interval training is dependent on the individual what I'm working with, what they're accustomed to, what they're used to, okay, what they like doing. You know, if it's somebody sports specific, you have to look at the energy systems and find out how 
their sports energy systems work before you start incorporating HIT in there. All right? Would I get somebody who's a cross-country runner doing interval training a hell of a lot? No, because we know it's probably the last three um, 200 or 100 meters that a, a marathon sprinter, bang, will start hitting it and going through his threshold. All right? So again, thanks for watching this video. And remember, guys, I do online coaching. Okay? For those who don't live in not anymore, not my one-to-one -one clients, and want a way how you can get fit, get lean, okay, get healthy, and have fun at the same time, and have the support of me to help you get the result what you want. But remember, guys, I only do the coaching if you're willing to be coached for three months. Okay? Instead of flashing the pan and look at getting your lifestyle right, helping you with mindset, supporting you, helping you with your nutrition, and also making sure that you're exercising um, according to how you can exercise, when you can exercise, whether that be from home or actually in a gym also. Alright? So thank you for watching this video. I will speak to you soon. Bye for now.